Just play. Hey, hello, everyone. Uh, took a long while again to be back. Uh, in vacation, Hong Kong, very nice place. <laughs> Either ate a lot. So, um, the recent um, uh, Prime deals, I was able to get hey, Jai Joe deck building. It was because I was playing a lot of um, deck building games, usually Dune. I know it's part deck building, but then another part as well. And Clank, the recent digital Clank. And that's why, hey, I wanted to find something. I actually got two. The other one was Star Wars, the deck like, building one. Which, uh, even though it's a two-player one, I heard that there is a um, a good uh, automata for that one. So I'll try that a little bit later. But so far, we are now just doing a quick unboxing of this uh, G.I. Joe deck game. Okay. Then I'll try to learn it and then go from there. Uh, maybe do a couple of tunes first without the added expansion of the Shadow of the Serpent. And then from there, uh, we'll do a couple of runs and see what it goes. So if, if, if because from my understanding, the verdict has uh, even more of a uh, dice chucking. Okay. I'm waiting for um, uh, uh, the Elder Scrolls one. So that's the second thing I actually uh, backed. Uh, the first one was the um, pretty cool. Okay. First one was the uh, oh, I, I forgot about it. Uh, the other deck because it's like it's like Hearthstone. So there's a GI Joe role playing game. And yeah, the, the thing is that they did another one is Transformers, and you can actually, from understanding is that you can have, um, how do they say this, a, an expansion that will mix them both. Yeah, it's a little weird for my taste. <laughs> and the rule book, they say, is a little mess. Okay. It's nice. Show setup. Go. Looks like a little bit. Maybe we will find out. Maybe once we have, uh, we find out what things what we do need and go from there. It's nice. It's clean as well. Maybe the grouping is not somewhere that we might want. want. The way like everything is it has a, some reference stuff. It's good. This has some sort of iconography at the end. It has some challenges as well that we can do, right? And as always, there's the turn sequence, which is good. That could be at the end. Hmm. Okay. Oh, something's missing. Oh, something is just immediately. So this is the turn counter, round counter. Sorry. So from my understanding, is that you just follow trees. You always start here, and then going from here, you follow what is the required from here. For example, in this one, you just follow. Besides the normal round sequence, you do you have to use you just. You, do this and then the other one as well. There's one of so there's like the playing solo or uh dual handed or three or four players. Let's put that aside here. And then the other thing that was punched is the hanger. So basically you will have um vehicles here, and then depending on the the amount of people that you can bring, uh the amount that you can have on the vehicle, that's the how many Joes you can have. Let's see. And we have a reserve stack, so it means you can uh, put some deck, some cards from your hand uh, to be passed over from the, to the next turn. It says here on your turn, uh, you may place one card here for no effect, and if turn after drawing, draw that card to your hand as well. Cool. It's weird. It's like this, but then the logo is backside. So. <laughs> There's some sort of misprint or anything because, for example, right, small things right here, hanger. Then that's the correct one. But then if you go from this one, well, there we go. Uh, what is this? Success. It says success, and it just says success. Okay. Okay, maybe we should have the the rule book, and so we can use it some sort of. Way. 
things because I don't know the terminologies yet or what we can have from this one. We open it up and we ready to go. So these are the mission success and failure tokens. Maybe you have to put into the uh, put in the uh, on the actual car, and we have tread markers. Okay. I don't know why there will be four though. Weird. And then uh, end of round token. That's it. Put that away. It says here. End of turn solo. That's it. So end of turn. Activate any penalties. Sorry, mission turn effects. And two plus one. So that means the red wheel pops up once again. So if so that means right so if that means if this is always part of it that means from here you always bump twice that's nice okay and then that's it and then from here we have some dice nice colors not that chunky that's okay not light and it looks like it has one two three Three misses to one star success and one critical success, I guess. That, it's a good thing there's no like critical failure, right? So that's the so it, it has a like 50%. And then if you are able to maybe re-roll it, you can get like uh, another one. Okay. And then how many have we have one uh that size tarot size card? And one, two, three. My size X. So let's try to open it up and maybe we can start sorting them here, right? So for the mission size, that means it will, it will always be here. Let's try to do this mission once first. Okay, it's like, is there any hidden? Usually there is, <laughs> right? Those are the things that you always want to have. Um, look, uh, if you're always getting something, just try to buy them. I mean, I mean, you're trying to open it up. Always try to put some folks in the bag. Sometimes, you know, some things. They're like extra stuff, maybe. But I guess it only applies to, uh, to what do you say, um, campaign games, maybe. Something that is hidden. <laughs> but you will be spoiling it for yourself. So the back side, oh, sorry. At least it says here, uh, mission two, three. Okay, one, two, three, mission two. Oh, so it's, there's only two missions, right? Mission one and mission two. Okay. And then maybe the difficulty level from there. Okay. Oh, I don't want me to go to class, but then it's, it's, it's actually nice. It might be, I don't know, then, but no, it's nice. It's smooth in that way. I like the card. I like the card feel of that one. These might be easier, so I don't need. I don't think I need to have to shuffle that. Okay, and let's see. Okay, this looks like this will be the main decks, and let's try to open this one first, which has all the other stuff. Let's see if we can we need to use our trusty. Hmm. Okay, where's that? Come on, be good to me. Then have the proper nails for that. Maybe we just have to use this then. Okay. That looks good. Oops, not good enough. But on the side, come on. Yeah, I used to when I was a little kid. We used to have like the, but we don't, we didn't have the big GI Joes once. We, I had one like the, the actual normal GI Joes where it has like all the fully, it's like we see the small one parts, but then in the, once you have come to that certain age, they will be like headless and you'll be playing with it all the time. Okay, so we can split this up. It looks like we have a mission counter turn sequence, right? Four play cards. Okay, that's good. Is it clear to understand the player aid stuff? So let's see. Start phase, refill, start mission, action phase, okay. Let's recruit. And then the end phase and end of round. 
Okay, and then it says here it says on the mission side, uh, uh, choose one Joe and one transport. Add Joe's up to transport space, and then in group missions, everyone can join. And resolve any complications. I think that might be a uh, same thing with Arkham, where you have to pull something out, and then it adds some sort of extra difficulty. Uh, determine your team skill total. Yeah, add players plus Joe's. This is, has a good uh, turn sequence. Maybe we can put that somewhere there. Something. And what do we have here? Obey Cobra. Now with expert mode. What the heck is this? Okay, maybe we should. Does, does it say anything there? No, it doesn't. Oh, expert mode cards. And that's it. Ah, okay. So maybe if you want to have more challenge, just maybe randomly pick one from here. Let me that. Let's put that in the player A stuff. Um, I think that's it. These are all the 117 player cards. So if you want to have to quickly look at it, uh, Joe's are the blue ones, just like it, right? And then from here is the cost, the recruits, and this is the skill points that they will be providing, and then some extra stuff, right? Let's do a quick throw it, right? So maybe, maybe we should be splitting them up. Let's see, so Joe's the blue. Come on there. And we have R. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Bam. Okay, so vehicles are gray. You said green, sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit colorblind, okay? So we have a little bit of stuff here, okay? Let's put that vehicles there. And then utility cards. So this is like one time you use this, right? No, it's not. Each player will reveal a leader from their hand, draws a card. Okay, it's not bad. So utility cards, then gear, okay. Okay, and then promoted. Oh, I don't think I need to split them up because in the end, I think it might just, oh, so it says here starter. So I think that might be the one thing that we might just to have to and here are some promoted leaders. So I think uh, it has how many leader cards? Does it, does it say? No, it doesn't say. No, it doesn't say. So, for example, you will get the starting leader cards, and then from there you can promote them if you can match. I think the the recruit points. So we have Flint. Ooh, I remember Flint? Roadblock. Yes, I had Roadblock before as a kid. Uh, Lady J. I don't remember Lady J though. Duke, yes, and uh, for Snake Eyes and Scarlet, yeah. Martial arts and tech, stealth and martial arts. That fix recon and marksman. Who's Duke and marksman? I, I don't actually remember that. Yeah, explosive is for old black. That's true. Okay, let's try to put those maybe here on where the starting stuff here, and let's see if we. And get some more stuff. Uh, usually they have those that I uh, like that one. Maybe I can get it. Come on, be gentle. Yeah, I'm too scared to just rip all those things. Okay. Come on. There we go. You are not cooperating. Uh, okay. That's so why I prefer the the ones that uh, usually come now where you just have a quick ban. That means the covered ones. Okay, let's see. All black. Oh, okay, there we go. There's another difference. So I think maybe we might be grouping them up wrong if they're all backside we just put all the backside unless for example yeah i think we could spend that so this is their more obey cobra so what are the obey cobras i think this might be cobra cards no those okay what we have here oh, okay this is this looks like uh extra so, and then we have the complications. So, for example, right? Add uh, if you if you 
it to McCoy. So it means if uh, it attaches to a mission, right? So that means if you fail the mission, that means it just goes there. Quick shuffle. So at least it's already pre shuffled for our turn. And we'll put that there. And then and this last one. Come on, be good to me. Okay, I'll just use this side then. Oof. There we go. I think that's enough. Free me from the Kraken! From the holds of this cards. Okay. There we go. And I think these are the rest. Okay, I think we uh from since we are starting like this, we can't just split out all the starter cards. Oh, okay. There we go. So we know that they're always there. Maybe we put that in the vamp. All the starter cards are together. I think we can actually start splitting those things up. Uh, the upgrades. There is all. Upgrades. Just put that in the expert mode. There. And here are all the other basic stuff. So this will be will basically form market. There we go. The other four Joe leaders. So these are the starter leaders right so you get to choose from one and then from here you can see that you can promote them after so you can put that together there then and all normal cards now so i think these can all go together right basic yes and then what are the other remaining ones Fit all in one go. Okay. Okay, I missed one Cobra Battalion. That there. Ooh, okay. That's looks like these things. You can see they have the same backing, right? Looks like this these things will be um placed in your deck at some point. So I think you just put that. There, complications and it says starter, so I mean starter too. Ooh, is that it? Should be starter if it's the other way around, like this. And starter, oh, sorry, here. ah, yes, better. Cool, and that's it. So that is it for. The that building game expansion we can actually include why not the shadow of the serpent expansion as well. Come on, like that. This was like I got it for like nine nine iron box. My conversion is correct. Yeah, yeah, something like that. 40 grams. Here, 20 more main deck cards, 13 cover cards more, and 4 leader cards, 26 mission cards, so at least add mission variation. Question is do you now then just remove the expansion packs? Okay, yes, same thing that underneath you don't need you transformers oh. there we get <laughs> be gentle there we go and then rule book there's something new that pops up mission three and mission four okay that's good we can add that rule updates okay and new mission setup now. There are two new missions in expansion, the Rise of Summerto. Okay. Ooh, new stuff. We have a laser cannon. 
side one, side mission roll, additional die. And we have a stockade and a command room. So punch that out. Why does it have a strike through? <laughs> okay. Okay, it's double sided, sorry. Cool. I think this is the same. It's the laser cannon. Maybe more. Does it fit? Does it fit? Okay, that's good. Yeah, we want to fit it all in one go. So we have the repair bay and the battle station. See, that's the that's the weird thing, right? Small things like that. For example, this one, when you flip it, it's correct, right? Even this one, when you flip it, it's correct. Laser cannon, flip it, it's correct. Then they have the inconsistencies of, uh, say, this repair bay. That way, right? Battle station, repair bay, flip it, and you have to do it that way. Such a miss, right? Small things, small things that you know make you go ah, oh, right? Really, really go ah. Oh. We have to check first. We have something underneath here. They have, they have a nice. This is a nice small expander. Nothing in the back. Okay, so you know, just then this last one. Question is, do we include it immediately? I think we just tried to go with the base part here first, and then uh, include it a little bit later. Because we want to at least try to see how it was envisioned without all the extras. There we go. Not better. Hawk. Ooh, the new leader. Yeah, I didn't know. I knew. I know Hawk was like one of the main ones, but he was not part of it. So Hawk. We promoted Hawk. Storm Shadow, okay. And Repeater, Bud. Okay, that's it. So these are all the new ones. And then some group items, utilities. Maybe we just include it, right? And we just don't go with the other stuff that's been added. Let's put that there for a minute so we know that's the expansion stuff. And that's it, right? Yeah. And the last one is a. Yep. Overwhelm. So it says mission three and mission four at the back side. So that's not, that, that's at least a good indication if you might just you only do this for the rest. So if you add the rest like this, it's just right, right? I think as well, even if you add the other ones here, here, I'll just put that there, put those there, right there. Oh, wait, the dice. We forgot the dice. Dice always goes here. And then, counters. Just put there with the dice. I think we'll just see how it goes with our first plate and then go from there. And adding those things. There we go. There we go. It's so it's not making all over. Uh -huh. Taking space. Ah, okay. Put that there. So it fits. The good thing is it fits. I think we could if we add more stuff there. It's a nice plastic stuff, but hey, laggers can be choosers, right? And that's it. No, that's her. Not so quick, <laughs> four minutes. <laughs> Boxing of a GI Joe the deck building game. Uh, I'll try to read out the rule book and see if we can do a playthrough. Right. See you. Bye bye.